So these are some very simple and effective mobilization exercises for the tendon sheaths in something called the Quervain's tenosynovitis, otherwise known as um, Texas thumb or mummy's thumb. Uh, you'll know when you have this because there's quite a significant pain going through this area here. Whenever you open your hand, you might be able to feel it. You pick something up using a cup, scrubbing onto something. And the main provo provocation test that you can do for yourself, just be gentle with it. You wrap your thumb up this way and then just taking your wrist down here and you'll, it stretches these areas quite a lot and it'll really cause a lot of pain um, for the core veins if, it's, if that's what's happening for you. So these exercises are very useful to do. Do um, at least once a day, twice a day is even better. You know, holding your hand, having your hand on your leg, hand on the table. Main thing is that your wrist doesn't move, so we're just isolating the thumb. And you're just going up slowly with the thumb. Two sets of 10. And I'm just going to a point where if I went any further, it would cause more pain. So I'm just going to the point, maybe a three out of 10 pain at the most, and we're allowing that. And you may find over the course of doing a few sets of this, because there's, there's four exercises I'm about to show you here, that the pain decreases because there's more mobilization and movement in the tendon. And the next one is then coming out this way. Again, two sets of 10. And the next one going down with the thumb this way. Some people find this the most relieving. Two sets of 10 again. Then your hand come off the table or so your wrist doesn't support anymore. We're just dropping the wrist down. Well, the thumb will come down too. We're just not taking it right down. More the wrist itself. Going back up. Back down. So we go from neutral back down. Three, uh, two sets of 10 again. A really simple and effective self massage you can do is just using your other, other thumb, providing you don't have problems in both hands, which can happen. You're starting on the top of the tendon on the thumb, so the very top, and you're just going across. Really little moves, you might find a feel a flick in the tendon. It doesn't have to be hard pressure at all. It can be just like you're moving the skin and it'll help free up the tendon sheath and the fascia. And you're just doing it along where it feels sore. So we're not trying to make more pain. It'll feel quite relieving really fast, generally. It's something you can do three times a day. So once you've been doing the mobilization exercises for a couple of days and getting some benefits and results from them, uh, we start doing some strengthening exercises. Tendons love strength, strengthening work. So having your hand on a table or just using my leg for now, so you're letting your thumb lift to a point where it's no more than a three out of 10. And then I'm gently pushing the tendon back down, but I've got hardly any pressure. So I'm resisting it. And then I just let it come up by itself and resisting it back down. And I'm doing two sets of 10 with that one. And the next one, using a rubber band. So it's a little bit more advanced, this one. I'm opening the the band with my fingers, and I'm going to pull the thumb out more, then I'm going to take the other finger away and just let the tendon slowly bring that back in. So I open with the finger and let the tendon slowly back come back in. So I'm strengthening the tendon through here. It'll affect the tendon through the fingers too. And we're doing two sets of eight with that one. And a more advanced strengthening exercise is just opening and closing and it's looking more towards when there's um, quite a lot of relief. It's not as irritable the condition. And uh, a band that's not too stiff, so one that's actually quite stretchy, is a really good one to work with. And again, we're doing two sets of six to eight reps.